Being a second generation farmer, growing up in this community, your word is your bond and trust is everything. We lived in secrecy for 30, 40 years and we knew that if we talked about what our parents were doing and what we were doing, that that really jeopardized their safety, their freedom and the consequences of jeopardizing that was really them going away to jail. I think a person really has to truly evaluate who they are inside and, and you know for me it was always about this community. It was always about my friends. The war on drugs, it never really made sense to me as a kid because my family, they weren't, they weren't criminals. They were like really good family people that supported us and you know, supported the communities. The farms that we represent, like Ridgeline and Acana Country Farms and a Huckleberry Hill Farms and a New Made Farms, those people all are involved with community. By supporting these farms and these brands, you're supporting community. You're supporting families. You're supporting a legacy. You're supporting a way of life. You're not supporting a soulless CEO sitting on an island in Tahiti getting rich on the backs of the work of the people. We stand out by risking our asses on a strain nobody knows about. I'm trying to find a lemon, a fruit, uh, key limes, really trying to find flavors and gases of all variety and soup them up to bring them back or add something to them that's special to get out to, to everybody. It took multiple generations for cannabis farmers to be able to do this openly, publicly, and legally. This is about the Emerald Triangle and the journey that we went on for the last 40 years with this powerful plant. People like Jason, it's people like Tina, it's people like Teddy, to get this point where people are creating a multi-billion dollar industry because of the value of this plant. And they need to know the story behind this plant and where this industry was created. Mm -hmm.